Yeah, it's certainly to get everyone, uh, all the new faces a game. You know, we've had a, obviously a huge turnover of players and uh, um, those combination never play together, simple as that. But uh, yeah, obviously to, to lose the game was disappointing, um, but uh, I think we're injury free, which is great. You know, we're not a big squad, so to come out of it unscathed is, is good. And, uh, you know, looking into the stand, there's still plenty of quality that didn't play today that we've got to come back into the team. So um, yeah, definitely some positives to take out of it. Um, Obviously the quarters, they thought the first, the first one we were okay, second couple kind of a bit rusty, but in the, in the last quarter everything really came together and I think it, you know, it was only a matter of time before we would have got over the line again. Yeah, again, you know, it, it, uh, we, we spoke afterwards about probably our, not being accurate enough and made lots of lots of individual errors which stopped our ability to play, but um, yeah, we, we were, uh, you know, a, a pass away from three or four more tries there, um, you know, and first game out, you would expect to take all your chances you know you don't take them at the end of the season so um, but if we can get a bit more accurate we'll turn those three tries into hopefully four five six and uh, and then you know obviously from that the results yeah. can can turn around um, the start of play was certainly something that was a bit of a standout there was plenty of offloading is that uh, something you've been working on yes uh, you know we got we got actually some really good handling forwards uh, this season you know the likes of Phil Kringle Grant Shields got great touches for front rowers and uh, you know they were able to bring some really nice continuity offloading into the game and you know somebody like Boller at eight who, who carries so strongly it's going to lend itself to, uh, to offloading so yeah very, obviously very dangerous when you can do it but at times today again with that offloading we probably picked the wrong time turn it into a turnover um, so plenty of learning from it you know a young group lots of uh, Lots of young developing players, and hopefully everyone would have got something out of today. Yeah, uh, the five Scots coming down as well. Pretty much all got some game time. How did you feel they've had? Yeah, good. Um, you know, I thought Ali Miller was probably the standout of the group. Uh, did really well at, at line out time. Um, and Tom Galbraith did a good shift. I think he put 60 minutes in uh, compared to someone like Hugh who only, only played for uh, for 30. I thought Tom, varying in the midfield, went really well as well. Um, but good to have them all down. Um, and, and and playing with us amongst you know a, a number of other young players. So uh, no, pleased with pleased with their progress. They've been in fitted in really well so far, and uh, you know we're up to, to Scotland this week and uh, get to go home. So they might feel a bit better about that. Yeah, just about that Scotland trip. It's a training session against the Harriers, which will be good. Kind of with the links with the SRU, you know, London Scottish and an old traditional club in Edinburgh. Yeah, probably the first time for. Goodness knows how long that London Scottish have been up north for a, you know, for a pre-season trip. So really excited to get up to Edinburgh, um, train against Harriets and suck in some Scottish culture for a few days. Yeah. Um, and a couple of weeks until we uh, face no other than the European and Premiership champions. So um, Easy. a couple of weeks to prepare and then uh, we'll have a good hit out against them. Yeah, look, I mean, you couldn't have uh, you know a, a bigger challenge. You couldn't have a bigger challenge. Uh, we picked that fixture well uh, with Saracens, and you know, the, no matter what team they pick, it's going to be a quality team. They were, you know, neon unbeatable in uh, last season, and they've strengthened sufficiently with the likes of Sean Maitland and the Skogberger coming in. So they're not, not they're not letting off with that, and it's going to be a fantastic um, occasion for everyone involved with London Scottish to to go up to Central London and play them at the HAC, and uh, couldn't be more looking. End of week nine of pre-season. Um, been down to training this week. The atmosphere seems really good. How have you kind of felt that the opening couple of months have gone? Uh, brilliantly, brilliantly. We had uh, you know a dicey first couple of weeks. We didn't know what was going on, but since uh, the, the players actually stuck together really well, we spent five weeks in in Richmond. Uh, but since we've been to the Lensbury and changed up our you know, facility, that's had a massive massive effect, I think, on the attitude and atmosphere of, of the of the squad and uh, nice to have uh, a dry office so um, um, yeah I think everyone's really happy with with how it's gone and um, just looking forward now you know it's a long long pre-season just can't wait to, to get into Nottingham and beyond because once those games start coming that's where you know everyone enjoys you want to rugby coaches or players to play the game not to train and you know all this time without a game is a bit frustrating so we desperately get into the season and get cracking yeah. um, and just finally you've got Sean Lanine director of rugby John DL Fantastic, having so much support um, and experience, you know, from various angles. John brings so much experience from, uh, you know, his time in, in Scotland and is uh, really fitting in brilliantly. And Sean's experience again from coaching for many years and just bringing in those specialist coaches, Eddie and Roddy, you mentioned. Yeah, compared with probably where London Scottish have been for the last few years, having that much expertise hopefully will, will 
will benefit the whole squad um, moving forward and uh, you know we want to be well prepared we've got some big challenges to come um, and having those guys on board is just fantastic first run out, it was, I know it was a defeat, but uh, plenty of positives to take. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right in saying that. Um, there were a lot of good things, there were a lot of bad things. That's the nature of these games, and that's exactly what we expected. We're far from the complete package and from where we want to be, but we knew that. We've got, we've still got three weeks until Nottingham. It'll be three hard weeks of graft, and we'll continue to build and improve. aiming to run the ball um, which did create for a bit of a loose game in the first few quarters but it, 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 we saw it start to come together it's just a shame as you said we ran out of time but that was 80 minutes long our league game is going to be 80 minutes long so we can't use that as an excuse um, yeah there was, there was plenty of attacking play it seemed like there was a real intent was that something that came to do that that's something we, yeah that's something we came down here especially aiming to do you know we've got an opportunity coming up next week to practice a lot of uh, set piece against opposition so we tried to use today to practice our counter attacking and open rugby as much as we could um, and I think we did get a lot out of that it, it highlighted our strengths it highlighted our weaknesses and that's exactly what we came down here for Yeah, the tries were kind of flow of move and a couple of you know, kind of uh, up the jumper and uh, rolling goals so there's uh, quite a lot of encouragement um, you know from forwards and backs as well Yeah we're going to we're going to try to be as versatile as possible, yeah. same as every team in this league. The league's too competitive to just have one string to your bow. Um, we've got a dangerous backline. We've got a lot of enthusiastic, quick young lads. Um, at the same time, we can pack some heat in our forwards. So as, a, as our games carry on and we train more and spend more time with each other, you'll see that versatility improve and hopefully we'll be able to score twice more on the field. Yeah, and a trip up to Edinburgh on the card to, to uh, train against Terriers. That, uh, that'll be, um, again, to be good to get, some, uh, get a hit out against uh, Absolutely, yeah. It's a good opportunity. Harriet will be coming for us. It's a good opportunity to practice our set piece and focus on that more so than we did today. Um, and it'll just be nice to get into a different environment with the boys, a bit of team bonding. Uh, all the boys are really looking forward to it. Yeah, um, speaking to Sean about it as well, kind of the links with the SIU and Scotland and London Scottish now, it'll be good to go to Edinburgh and kind of confirm those links with a uh, more traditional uh, Scottish club in Harriet's as well. Yeah, absolutely. We want to build on and use that relationship to our advantage as much, much as possible. So it'll be a really good opportunity. Um, Personally for you, Skipper, today, how did it feel to uh, lead the boys up? Massively privileged to lead, lead the boys. Um, something I wasn't expecting, but I'll try and embrace it and get the best thing I can out of it. Um, all the boys listened and were fantastic, and yeah, it's just a great opportunity. Yeah, um, and next time we're in an 80 minute match, it'll just be against the European and Premiership champions in Saracens, so uh, a couple of weeks to work before that one as well. I suppose the tables will be turned a bit on the head as, as opposed to what they were today. We'll, we'll go down there with nothing to lose. No fear, try and play as much rugby as we can and get out of it as much as possible. And I think, all, again, all the boys are looking forward to it. It's a fantastic venue, fantastic occasion. So we're all going to embrace it.